Okay, and we are back. This is Astro Heat Overdrive number four. We are now on Blaze Blue's uh, winners, oh, I say no, losers um, quarterfinals. Yeah. On commentary, you got ES1 Star and Solar. Mm -hmm. yeah. and up, what we got next is Daydrone versus Sixers. Um, yeah, that's just um, the well known Subaki from the Netherlands that has, that has come down for Astro Heat to meet everyone. And Ixus Nagus, probably our governing Mew god of this country. So. Uh, only one left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a few, but Ixus is the one really putting his weight. So it'll be a good match. But Mew, I mean, Ixus is very um, used to the Subaki matchup due to fighting Kibo. So yeah. this could be one sided. But Daedron does not play like a normal Subaki, mm -hmm. which is why people do really like flashy, him. Really really out there. Yep, he's got swag. He's got style. It's very, very good. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, straight away. Jay in there. JC, okay, he's in there. No, giving him a chance to sell. Okay, Zemi. Oh, I think that was a reset attempt. Oh, drops the 2C. Come here. Oh, okay, we've got two miss whiffed normals. Sabaki so just trying to find her way back in. Oh, cross on the 5A. Alright, 6A counter hit. And J2C takes it. With a nice DP finish for sure. Exus is looking very strong right now. But let's see if Daydream can adapt to this. This is losers, so whoever is out is out. So they're fighting for their life. They're fighting for their life. Yep. Ooh! Oh, punish for that. He thought that he was going to get a DP. Okay, Dejan is now in there. Can he keep momentum? Oh, he could touch you out there. Counter here. Yeah. Thank goodness Mew doesn't have her old damage. Otherwise, this, that would have done a probably 3.5 to 4k. Ixus is keeping the pressure on. Ooh. Yep, Daedron sticking to him, but he got away. Ooh, he tries that fourth laser. Sneaky. It's got a burst. Yes. Never. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nope, if she confirms a combo like that, 5C. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It kind of burst. It has a burst really early. Yep. And uh, if you can let Mew get an air hit, she will do 5C into 6C and she will take advantage of that opportunity. And Ixus is known for optimizing his combos to like the T. So yeah, like getting what 5K off as 5A. Yeah, he's written <laughs> like a bible on how to get max damage off of 5A and 2A. So Ixus is a very strong robot-like player. Ooh, okay. The Steins mess up the combo. He tries that third laser, sneaky. Oh, I think he missed the um, the jump input. I don't know what that move is called. Um, he either dropped it or he could touch you. Um, he either dropped it or he dropped it so that he can get a stand placement and charge the laser. Hmm. Ooh, Ooh, cross trigger into overhead. Gets them in the corner. Maximum damage or at least his best combo. Ooh, gets caught. And that is a clean victory for Ixus. Yep. The destroyer of worlds, Mew 12. Okay, Deidre needs to fight for his life now. Ixus is winning quite convincingly. Ooh, okay, he hits him out of J2C. Takes the ground. Ooh, 5C counter hit. I don't think Ixus saw that coming. A lot of counter hits. I don't know what buttons Deidre is trying to press from, from a distance because Mew is really good with her 5C. That tight pressure. Mm -hmm. Laser picked him up. Ooh, ooh. Can't hit DP and he just... He wants to keep 100% momentum. Yep, and even if he barriered, I mean burst. Can't burst it, but... That was a clean yeah. victory. All right, Nixus takes it. That is basically what happens when you fight Cuba too much. You get used to these matches. But it was a good game.